everyone welcome back to my channel today I will be doing my January favorites I know I didn't do a yearly 2016 favorites and that was because I didn't really find anything that was my like I used all year because I used so many different products so I'm just gonna stick to just doing monthly favorites until maybe 2017 I might have my holy grail where I go straight back to those products so I didn't feel like it was necessary to do them so I'm just going to jump right in and show you my January favorites. Um, I'm going to start with phase and how you would apply them, I suppose. My um, new favorite that I discovered in January is the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This thing, oh my god, and it smells like, to me, it smells like a tanning lotion. So when I first applied this on my face, I was like, oh my god, it smells so amazing. And it's really, it's very hydrating to the skin, and it doesn't take forever to dry. So I usually just use this as a moisturizer, then I'll go in with another primer before I do my foundation. So to me, this doesn't take forever to dry, where you have to sit there and wait before you do your primer, then your foundation. Literally, I would say maybe to three minutes, it's already synced into the skin and hydrating it as well. So love this product. It is new. So, if you haven't tried this and you have dry skin, please check it out. It was $28, I want to say. So, good product. Next is primer. And I've been using the Hourglass Veal Veil Mineral, Light, Mineral Primer, which looks like this. And it comes with a little pump. I used to just take one pump and then I would smooth it around. No, I put it on my finger, not on the back of my hand. I put it on my finger swirl it around and then I'll dot it and then I'll go into my T-zone smooth it, everything out around my face I love this I feel like it I don't know if it's supposed to blur pores I'm not too sure about that but to me I feel like it's like smooths everything out and blurs before my foundation on I'm not sure if it does it but if it doesn't it doesn't it's great so I've been using that next is a foundation which is the NARS what is that? All, okay, so the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I never wanted to say the name wrong, so that's why I'm always like, which one is that? Because they have a couple foundations. So this is the Luminous Silk. I love it. And, like, the, um, the finish is very glowy. It's not a matte, but it, like, it dries like a matte, but it doesn't give you that all-over finish. It's very luminous very glowy and I love that a very dewy skin that's what I love for having dry skin I have it on my face and it does it like it dries not but it doesn't feel matte and you don't necessarily have to set this but I set all my foundation so keep that in mind I always feel like I have to set my foundation so it, I can have a smooth glide with like my bronzer my highlighter so but this is really good it's $48 it's pricey but it's amazing it does come with a pump and mine is disgusting because, like I said, I've been using this non-stop. I love this foundation. So, check out the All Day Luminous Silk by NARS. For concealer, this is, I want to try the other one that everyone's talking about. And that is the Shape Tape by Tarte, but I haven't been able to get my hands on it. It's only Ulta exclusive or on the Tarte website. But, of course, they never have the, was it, light medium, the one I've been looking for. Online is always sold out, and stores is always sold out, so I had to drive to a new concealer, which is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, and I've been loving this. I did discover, at first I wasn't really too sure about it, because I was using it with a damn beauty blender, like you would use all concealers, but I feel like it would take off, like, because I always have, like, little red dots right here, from where my glasses always sit on, and it just leaves, like, I guess, a red mark on my nose, whatever. But it would always take the foundation off of it when I would pounce my beauty blender in that area where my concealer is at. So I was like, what am I doing wrong? So finally I discovered to use it with a brush. So that's what I've been doing, and I've been loving it ever since. I really want to try the Shape Tape Concealer so bad because everyone talks about it. It's everyone's yearly favorite or their monthly favorite, and I'm like... Alright, come on guys, stop taking it all because I want to try it, but I settled for this one and it's not a bad concealer, just use it with a brush, not a beauty blender. Weird for concealer, but trust me, 
if you use it with a beauty blender like I did, you're not going to like it like I did at first. I was like, well, what the hell did I get myself into? All right, next is this baby. This is the flower beauty powder that I've been setting my face. Casey Holmes always talked about this. Always. And I was like, okay, it's at Target. It's a drugstore powder. I'm going to go get it a try. And I love it. I got the loose powder power powder up in L01. Yep, shade L01. It's just a flower setting loose powder. And it has a little bit of color, but it's not it doesn't make a difference on your skin. It just sets it. It's very easy to work with and it just gives a nice flawless finish over my foundation. So I love this. Thank you Casey Holmes for talking about this because I am obsessed. And you, like I said, you can get it from Target. I think it was like $10 or around that area. Not too bad for it. This big old container. And it came with like a, a puff, but I just used a big blending brush to put it on. And for under my eyes, I've still been using the Laura Mercier Secret, Bright, Secret Brightening Powder. So I didn't figure to mention it because it's the same thing I've been using. <laughs> All right, next bronzer. And this is the Too Faced Bates Luminous Glow Bronzer in Sweet Tea. I've seen Kathleen Lights talk about this. I've seen a few other people talk about this. But it just looks like this. Have a lighter shade, uh, lighter shade and a medium to dark shade. And it does have glitter in it, but it's not like overpowerly like chunky glitter. It just gives you that natural glow on the face without looking too bronzed. I don't know if you can tell. It's very light, which I like, but it still has that bronzer. Like I have it on my face right now. It's not overpowering. I don't really contour. I used to here and there, but I just been loving a natural looking glow within your face, I guess. So, Too Faced Sweet Tea. Love it. Gotta pick it up. And it's just, the packaging is just too freaking cute. I love the teal and the gold around it. And then, that's a lot of product. I've been using this thing since actually December. And I'm still carrying it on throughout January. And now it's February and I'm still using this. I love it. Next is highlighter, and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. And this thing, for only $4, I want to say, this thing puts off some highlight. Like, that is good for a really drugstore highlighter, and it's very creamy. It's not chunky at all. It's just this highlighter. If you have them at your local Walgreens, you have to pick them up. There's a different, there's like two, I think there's two shades, maybe two or three if I'm not mistaken. But this is the one I heard everyone talk about, so I went and got my hands on it. I love it. I wish I had it when I did my Wet n Wild video, but my Walgreens didn't have them. But then I went in there one day and they did, so I finally got it and I love it. Especially for the price point. Can't beat it. One wow is definitely stepping their game up. Alright. Let's move on to eyeshadows. Well, actually, one face product is a brush. I'm still on face. This is the Morphe M442. You've heard me talk about this. Mine's dirty. I did clean it. It's just still. It, the bristles are stained. <laughs> But I love this for applying my foundation. I absolutely love this. I have not even used a beauty blender in so long to apply my foundation. Like, I'll still use it, but for the NARS one, since it's a very, it comes out very watery. You have, and by the way, for the NARS Luminous Silk, you have to shake it before you pump it out on your hand or on your brush or however you apply your foundation. But even when you do shake it, it still comes out watery. So with the damp beauty sponge, it just, it takes, I think it absorbs all that product. So, but for that foundation, this brush, heaven. Love it. If you haven't tried Morphe M442, definitely check it out. Alright, now moving on to eyes. I have two palettes I want to talk about. And of course, y'all are I already seen this everywhere, but I'm still going to mention it because I've been using it crazy. Like crazy. And this is the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. As you can tell, my case is like dirty. 
Oh, there's the pacifier. I always drop those. But this is what the eyeshadows look like. As you can tell, I did some damage in this thing. I really, really, really love this shade right here. And that is Burnt Orange. I love this gold shimmery shade and the pink shimmery shade for a highlight bone for my highlight bone and for the inner corner. I absolutely love these two shades right here, these like cranberry shades. I just absolutely love this palette. Cannot wrong, go wrong. And I also love this brown up here. I always try to like do use that for the outer corner and I blend it out to my crease and I absolutely love it. This palette is absolutely amazing. You cannot go wrong. The pigmentation in this is just freaking crazy. Like, look how pigmented these are. I love them. And they're very blendable. They're comfortable on your eyelids. They don't, I don't find creasing with these at all. Absolutely, overall, good palette. I swear, I need to switch it up and try another palette, but I can't. This is like my ride or die palette, to be honest. Alright, my last face palette, or not my face palette, my eye palette, it is the Tart Tartiest Pro Palette by Tarte, and it looks like this. It is very heavy and very luxurious feeling, but what's inside is very, very much worth it, I promise. It is the eyeshadows I am using today on my eyes, besides my crease color that is Burnt Orange by Anastasia, and the Modern Renaissance Palette. Let's always use them. But excuse the big old mirror, but these are all the shades. You get so many shades. Hey, look at all those. It is $54 pricey. Thank God my boyfriend of mine got this for me for Christmas. But trust me, it's very, very worth it. This is my first Tarte palette that I've ever owned. And I'm kind of regretting this is the only one I own. But it will be the only one I own for now. I will be getting more. And it smells like a Too Faced chocolate bar palette. It smells like the Bonbons palette. That's the one I do have by Too Faced and it smells identical. But the these are just very pretty. Let's do, let's do this green shimmery. I haven't really used this one yet. Like, oh, these shades are to die for. Look, look how pigmented those are. Those are so pretty. I have this purple no, I don't have that one. Ooh, wrong purple, but here's one of the purple shades. It's just, I have this purple on. Put this one on as well. With this purple shimmery shade on top. I smeared out brown. It looks, I don't know, maybe I'm going colorblind. But this palette is just amazing. It comes in a big, big luxury mirror, like I said. Just a good palette. I love this. If you want to see any looks using this, just leave a comment down below and I would love to do that for you. I'm still playing around with this. I just started using this in January, but it's already in my favorites, as you can tell. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, I forgot another face brush. This is what I use to highlight my face. It's the Real Technique Shading Brush, but I use it for highlighting. I just love how I can just chisel the highlight up there on my cheekbones and then my nose, cupid's bow. I just love it. So this is what I've been using for my highlighting. And then for my eyeshadow, my ride or die crease, I just use this for everything. I need to get more backups. I don't know why I'm just using this one brush, but I just, I absolutely love it. And it's the Morphe R3, R37. This is from the Rose Gold Collection. It's just a fluffy crease brush and I absolutely love this. I'm going to just order more because I can literally use this for everything. I use it for my crease. I use it for the transition shade. I use it for the all my outer corner. I just use it for everything. It's, just, it's a really good brush. It blends out amazing. I I love this brush. I need to get more. Even if it's not from the Rose Gold Collection, I just need to get more of those type of brushes. Alright, last but not least, well, it is last, but whatever. Um, is lip products. And I only have a few that I've been using since December and January, but since I didn't do a 2016 favorites or December favorites, I'm just going to mention the products that I did use in December as well. Because I did use them as well in January. Alright, first off is this 
chapstick cake batter. It's just chapstick cake batter. Freaking smells amazing. And I just use this day to day basis. Use it before bed, when I wake up, just whenever my lips feel dry, just it's that time of year where you just need to keep your lips hydrated throughout the day. And this is very convenient. Just throw my makeup bag and in my purse. It's with me at all times. Alright, next is the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color. These are still new. I think they came out in the beginning of January, if not towards the end of December. I'm not too sure. But they're in the new section in Walgreens. And I just got one shade and I absolutely love it. That shade is this one. And Buttercream Frosting. And let me tell you, it smells like Buttercream Frosting. Which is amazing. That's why I like it too. They are drying, but like I said, if you just put like a chopstick or a moisturizer underneath, you'd be good to go. And this thing, they're around like the Elf's, or not the Elf's, but the Wet n Wild ones, like $4. So for a drugstore, you can't beat it. Next is the Tardius Lip Paint in a monos, namaste, namaste. This is the one I, Namaste, I can never pronounce this freaking name. I need to like listen to someone say it. If someone else has a favorite, let me hear you say it because I can't. And this is also a liquid lip. It dries matte. This is the same as the Jordana one. It's like almost like a dupe kind of thing. Almost. This is the Jordana one. It has a little bit more pink and the tart has a little bit of brown undertone. That's all I ever wear is nudes all the time. Next is this Maybelline, right? Is this Maybelline? Yeah, it's Maybelline, Maybelline Beige Bear in number 545. And this is one of their matte colors. And these, I think these are pretty neat as well. But it just looks like this. And it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips with a gloss over top. Let me put this right above the Jordana one and they're very very creamy yeah, this just smells like a regular lipstick tonight as you can see we have like a little trend going on but that is the Maybelline beige bear and it's they don't dry they're not drying on the lips but they are a matte finish but I can still move my lips even if I didn't have the gloss on because I do wear it without the gloss as well because that's how comfortable they are. They, they're still very creamy. Like, see, it's a matte finish, but trust me, I'm very creamy still. I'm very creamy. And last two lip products are both from Mac, of course. Those are my babies. I love Mac's lipsticks. I just adore them. This one is the from the Mariah Carey collection. I just absolutely love love this packaging. After I run out of this, I'm just gonna put this on my vanity. And this is in, how to upside down, it's a cream sheen, and it's called Bit of Bub Bubbly. I'm not sure if they still have the collection going on, but when I went there, they just, oh my god, I'm running out of product. I'm almost done. I liked how they had like a little butterfly. But anyways, I, when I went there, they were, and they just launched in the stores there, because they launched online already, but when I went to the counter, and when they launched online, they weren't in the stores yet, it, they were coming a week later. So I went when they came and they were pretty much all gone of everything besides this and a couple more products that I really didn't care for. I really wanted this and the body shimmer and of course they didn't have the body shimmer so I got just this. I don't know if I saw I'm going to check and see if they're still doing this collection because I got to get a backup. Like this is, it's almost gone. I can't. So I can't get it on. <laughs> But it's just a very, very light nude. It's very comfortable on the lips. It is a cream sheen, so it's very moisturizing to me. Next, my last favorite is MAC. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Hold on. That is not it. Everyone already knows Myth is my favorite one. That's the one I grabbed, of course. So yeah, I keep it in my makeup bag because it's one of my faves. Of course, I would have grabbed the Myth one. I think y'all are done hearing me talk about how 
much I love that one. So <laughs> we're not going to talk about it because I still love it. But this one is MAC Honey Love. And it is a matte. And the funny thing is when I picked out the shade, I didn't even know it was a matte until it dried down. It didn't dry down, but it wasn't going anywhere. It was just like, it was on my lips. And I was like, I looked at the bottom. I was like, oh, it's a matte. I didn't even know that. But it's just Honey Love. This is what that looks like. A nude as well, of course. Put this right here. And then right here is Honey Love. Oh, not right there. Right there. What am I doing? That one's Honey Love. That is an eyeshadow. <laughs> but it's just a brown nude. And I love it. Especially when I wear Whirl lip liner. Perfect combo. But that looks like that is all. Oh, no. I have one more. And it's a scent. I almost forgot it. That's why. I almost forgot it because it's a scent. And it is this pretty beauty. This is the Nirvana Elizabeth James and the scent Bourbon. Oh my god. I would always go in the store and I will spray this. And I love it. I finally got it as a Christmas present. My boyfriend got me this in the Tardius Pro palette for one of our, my main big gifts from, for Christmas. But it just smells like a warm vanilla sugar. Like I just absolutely love it. But I will spray like two sprays. Like I've been using it and it's only like down to right here. I've been using this nonstop since I got it and for Christmas, like nonstop. Like I said, I only need two spritz and it lasts so long. Like that's how I already knew I was going to do that because my will go into the floor and I'll spray it on me. Hours later, I'll be at home and I was still smelling. I'm like, oh, I just want it. And finally, I got it. This is a really good, good, good scent. And like I said, it lasts a long time. It is the, the, the Elizabeth and James Nirvana innocent bourbon and now that completes my January favorites like I said if you want to see any looks using any of these products you want to see these products in action leave a comment down below and I would love to do that for you until then I'll see you in my next video thank you